Hi, my name is Richard Schiller, and I'm in my kitchen to share Interprefy's latest recipe to improve simultaneous interpretation. Interprefy Clarifier. Now imagine that you're in a meeting, struggling to understand someone who's attending that meeting remotely. Because perhaps they're using a poor microphone, possibly their laptop's built-in microphone. And the one person that doesn't know that there is an issue is them. Now imagine you're an interpreter, listening carefully and translating in your head at the same time, trying to keep all that meaning without missing any key points. Simultaneous interpretation is stressful enough, but substandard sound can make it impossible. That's where Clarifier comes in. Switching on Clarifier makes speech clearer and aids comprehension. When a speaker has less than perfect sound, Clarifier helps you follow the speech more easily. Oh, and by the way, Clarifier can also help with poor speech, like heavy accents or slurring. And while we can ask people to change their microphones, it's harder to ask that they change themselves. So what is the Clarifier recipe? Here at Interprefy, we push harder than anyone to deliver fidelity where the reproduced sound is identical to the original. But when remote speakers have, say, a poor microphone, then it can sound like this. I would like to thank the chair for that fantastic introduction. I'm sorry that I could not attend in person today. Confronted with this challenging sound, participants and interpreters will turn on the clarifier function. Its processing adds clarity helping us comprehend what's being said faster. Before we hear that, I'm going to talk about how we comprehend speech at all and how Clarifier makes that clearer. So speech is made of two types of sound. One, softer vowel sounds that make up the body of the word. And two, transient and sibilant sounds that come from harder, more complex consonants. The second sound type is more fragile, more difficult to capture, but vital to our understanding. If you don't hear these hard sounds, you won't decode the speech. Clarifier locates them, finding the complex, hard, fragile components, and brings them forward. By making them more prominent, they become easier to hear and easier to comprehend. The listener understands the speaker better, Interpreters spend less time hearing the words and more time translating. For everyone, their task is more relaxed and less fatiguing. Now let's hear some examples. I would like to thank the chair for that fantastic introduction. I'm sorry that I could not attend in person today. This speech is primarily missing its high frequencies, so vital to those hard, complex sounds essential to comprehension. Listen for the sibilant s sounds and the hard t and k. The hardness and brightness have almost gone. Now listen to how this sounds once it's passed through the Interprefy clarifier. I'll first play the original again for comparison. I would like to thank the chair for that fantastic introduction. I'm sorry that I could not attend in person today. I would like to thank the chair for that fantastic introduction. I'm sorry that I could not attend in person today. You can hear that the s, t and k sounds are now more prominent. So, clarifier can have an impact on poor sound. But even when the sound is good, when the fidelity is fine, clarifier will still make it clearer. Listen to this example. I would like to thank the chair for that fantastic introduction. I'm sorry that I could not attend in person today. Once again, you can hear how hard sounds become even clearer. So even though this audio has reasonable fidelity, Clarifier will still bring these vital components forward. Before I go, one last thing. Remember, if you are speaking remotely, and particularly where there is simultaneous interpretation, whenever you can, use a good microphone and speak clearly.
But for when that's not possible, or when something goes wrong, there's Clarifier from Interprefy.